Isaac Harmon, fight week, another fight, mate, another another big card. Um, thoughts heading into this one? Excited, excited, super excited. Third international in a row. Mexican, um, yeah, I'm pumped for this one. This will be a cracker. What do you know of this guy? I know he's got a walk-up style. He's an Olympian, 15-1, um, 12 knockouts so he can punch. Um, yeah, that's about as far as I, I've seen one video of him on his Instagram tag video that went for a deep dive and search like we all do. Anyone that says they don't study or look is a fucking liar. So I found a little bit, and he puts his punches together well, uppercuts and hooks and... Yeah, he, he puts his punches together well, so it's going to bring out a career best performance. I've got to because if not, he beats me. So um, I'm excited for this one. It's going to be a good fight. What are you hoping to, to get out of these fights as you sort of step up your career, step up the, the competition? What's, what do you want to get out of these these matchups? Just experience to like set me up for the, the big one, you know. Um, again, being a Mexican, South American style, you know, it's a different style to say that crazy fucking... Japanese bloke I had or different to the long Troy Coleman I had um, different to an Australian person so um, you know it sort of we dip our toe in like Tim was super excited fighting his first Mexican you know dipping his toe in that scene and um, you know there's no lie Mexicans have a you know very strong fighting culture um, and it comes with that little bit of oh fuck he's Mexican he's going to be tough so yeah get over that um, punch his head in and then we tick that box you know so that's that's what I'm trying to get out of it experiences got that world ranking as well um, what's the sort of what do you see as the path um, to the top for yourself yeah man he just said I'll go number five when I beat this bloke so um, the WBO so good names in there number five just being able to lobby better names but um. Mate, there's a few more fishes swimming around in the Australian middleweight yard now, so pond, I should say, if they're fishes. Um, you know, Brock Jarvis, I spoke to him last week at Open Workout, and he's friendly to me, I'm friendly. I commend him for stepping away from Jeff Fennick and losing all his sponsorships, and, and we're having a bit of a chat, and I said, oh, who are you eyeing off? I think he should be a super welterweight, not a middleweight. He doesn't know yet either, but he said, oh, I'm eyeing you off. I thought, I didn't say anything at the time, but I thought, jokingly, he was saying, but that was probably a little bit to it. Um, and I thought, OK, well, fucking, he can get it as well if he wants to have a crack in. i got nothing against Brock. Um, again, I commended him for what he did. But I'll fight him in a heartbeat because that's a cakewalk, I think. Um, no disrespect or disrespect. I don't give a fuck how you take it. But I beat him. And then there's Andre Mikhailovich. He's just been signed to um, No Limit as well. He somehow got... He's fighting a world title eliminate against um, that Radnov, who's just a little bit worse than he is so he'll probably beat beat Radnov and then he fights Janabek and then Matei Tapia there's imagine Jarvis M Mikhailovich Matei for world title eliminator that's a good run I reckon that's a good run you know and you know Matei's got a WBA ranking and if he comes down to middleweight they'll, those rankings will come down and that'll get me slotted into a WBA section of body and then the winner could get a fucking world title against Zarafa you know that, it's all just happening right fucking now for me, so you never know. Got it all mapped out. Yeah. Um, just on Zarafa, a, a big fight for him in a, a three weeks' time. Um, yeah. Overall thoughts on, on his fight? It's a massive fight, and good on him for waiting it out. He shows some patience. Um, he's fighting a 41 year old Lara. Lara's crafty as, but he's 41 at the end of the day. Zarafa's in the prime of his career, he's 32 or 33. That's when you hit your straps as a boxer, so. I'd back myself against nearly any 41-year-old in the world. It's young man sport, boxing. Um, so I, I think he gets up and gets the job done and good on him. I just want Tim Zhu to stay the fuck away from the middleweight division and not go up and take that, that, that belt from him because he would. Uh, I think Zhu beats Zarafa. Um, but Zhu stay down super welterweight. Zarafa win that title. I'll fight maybe Matei for the WBA ranking. Bang, world title eliminator. And then I win, I fight Zarafa for that title. Nice. Uh, Wednesday night, how's it, how's it all end? Mate, I've got 15 wins with 13 knockouts. He's got 15 wins with 12 knockouts. I think it's fair to say someone's getting knocked out come Wednesday night. And I'm, I'm tipping the fucking Vegemite toast to beat the fucking Mexican burrito. Beauty. Good luck, man. Thanks, mate.